Don't wear your colors through a rival MC's turf. Coming up. Story coming up today. A man was shot wearing colors through a rival's turf. Now you're going to come and say, Hollywood. I thought this isn't a motorcycle gang, but a motorcycle club. And doing this kind of stuff proves that they're a motorcycle gang. Not that simple. Ah, uh, you're trying to get me. I know you are haters. Especially you Leo ones, okay? I know what you're trying to pull here. So let's talk about it before we go to the story where this happened. Put on your imaginations. Bear with me. You have your house, your castle. You're the king of your castle. And all of a sudden, the front door opens and you're saying, what the hell's going on here? I have nobody coming over. My worst fear at that point is the mother-in-law coming in, but we'll, we'll get away from that. The door opens. You hear somebody walking around. You, you know, you're upstairs. You're pleasuring yourself probably a little bit. And then you're mad because you got to stop. You go down the stairs. And next thing you know, you look over to the couch and you're saying to yourself, who the hell are you? Who is this person? And they look up at you and say, well, I'm not, I'm your new roommate. And you're like, well, for one, I don't need a roommate. And for two, what are you coming in my house for? See what I'm talking about. Now you're getting all upset because this dude came into your house uninvited and it kind of irritates you. So what you're going to do, you're going to say to yourself, I got to get this dude out of here. He's not supposed to be here. This is my house. This is my castle. I'm the king. I don't want to share any of that power. So what do you do? You get them out of your house. But what if you don't want to go? Well, a lot of times you're going to have to do some, you know, bad things to get them out of your house. But you want to get them out of that house. So where am I heading with this? Historically. There have been places where clubs are at, dominance. Put a lot of work into them areas. We're talking been around for 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80 years. So, of course, somebody's going to get a little upset, just a little bit, with somebody coming into the area, especially if they're not not going to make a simple phone call. That's just like somebody walking into your house. Let's get into this story real quick. Now, it's just, it's, here's the thing. Lately, I've been covering some stories coming from Oz, Australia, Europe, all that kind of stuff. Okay? I've been covering it. Because Insane Throttle has a worldwide audience. Worldwide audience. But there's a little difference here and there and stuff like that. So let's go. I got to stop rambling here. Plymouth Live. This from the Herald. It's in the UK. I mean, it's British for hooked on phonics people. A Plymouth granddad murdered on uh, uh, A38 for wearing his colors 
in a rival biker gang's turf. This is what the jury was told. And you guys wonder why I have such a hard time with overseas stuff. See, colors is usually here in the United States spelled C O L. Okay, you got this right now, right? C O L O R S. Not in England. You guys are always confused in Hollywood. Anyway, uh, prosecutors say it would offend against common sense to believe that three defendants were not all involved in scheme to murder of 59-year-old grandfather David Crawford. Sad state of affairs, man, when people get killed over this stuff. This article by Carl Eve. He is the crime reporter. A granddad was murdered because he was uh, or because he wore his colors in a rival's biker gang turf. A trial has been told. David Crawford, age 59, was part of a gang. Yes, gang. Here we go. With links to the infamous Hell's Angels. A murder trial at Plymouth Crown Court heard today. He was mown down on the A38 on May 12th of this year. So this is going through trial over there. By a member of the rivals Banditos who were out for revenge. Now, see, let me read a little more because that confuses me. You know, I get confused once in a while. The jury has already heard the case involved two rival biker gangs with Mr. Crawford belonging to the Cornwall branch of the Red Chiefs Motorcycle Club. You guys over there with the, with the Red Chiefs, you better watch out, man. All that political correctness is going to hit you over there. They're going to want you to change your name from Red Chiefs to Red something, just like they did uh, the Washington Redskins. Just saying. And Perry, Polly, and Brandon belong into the Plymouth branch of the Banditos Motorcycle Club. The jury was told how the Banditos had a grudge against the Red Chiefs, affiliated with the most, uh, the more notorious Hell's Angels. Uh, a jury was told it was not pure chance Perry, the van driver, happened upon Mr. Crawford, who he mowed down and then dragged hundreds of meters. Don't even, you know what? Don't try it. Don't try it. I, you know, my conversion from yards and meters is different. Along the A38 under his vehicle, leaving him for dead by the side of the road. Sad state of affairs, man. Bad way to die. Sad state of affairs. Lead prosecutor Paul Cavan, a KC, continued to open the case at Plymouth Crown Court against Benjamin Perry, Thomas Pauley, and Chad Branding for the murder of the granddad. Right on. This is basically their opening arguments is what's going on. If I'm reading this article right, uh, then he tries to go into, and uh, again, again, I do not know the protocol over in England. Bear with me. He said it, uh, 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 an affiliate club must be licensed by the organizations and members abide by their rules in their own country. He noted the rules were distributed to local affiliated clubs, adding that when police searched Brandon's home, they found a copy of the Bandito's Bible. Should have had that in the safe, man. Just saying. Their rule book in his bedroom, the court had previously heard that Branding was the president of the Plymouth Banditos Motorcycle Club. So you can look for it in the comments. I know it's going to be there. Well, clubs don't claim turf. That's gangs. Yes, that's what's going to be said. Guarantee freaking it, man. Guarantee it. But just remember the scenario that I gave it you earlier. Would you want somebody you do not know was uninvited coming to your house unannounced? I'm betting that answer is going to be no. Nope, 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 nope. Not going to want it. Just keep that in mind when you start making them comments. 
Just make sure you keep that in mind. I know a lot of us are hooked on phonics. But just try. But just try to understand. That's what I have to say right there. We're going live right now with the China Dow. Right after this music break. Rock on. <laughs> 